four weeks of lockdown, New Zealand has achieved its ambitious goal of eliminating the coronavirus. Over the past few days, newly diagnosed infections have been in the single digits. And on Monday, April 27, 2020, New Zealand reported just one new case. That does give us confidence that we've achieved our goal of elimination, which never meant zero, but it does mean we know where our cases are coming from. Ashley Boonfield, New Zealand's Director General of Health, said on Monday, adding that there was only one case since April 1, where authorities were still investigating the source. Monday was the final day of almost five weeks of street level four lockdown measures, which New Zealand's Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern described as the strictest constraints placed on New Zealanders in modern history. On Tuesday, the country eased into a less restrictive lockdown, with 400,000 more new New Zealanders heading back to work and 75% of the country's economy operating, according to Ardern. The new Level 3 restrictions also mean that New Zealanders will be able to hold small funerals and buy takeaways. New Zealand has reported 19 deaths and 1,472 confirmed and probable coronavirus cases, according to John Hopkins University. Of those 1,214, of 82% of confirmed and probable cases have recovered the Ministry of Health said. But while New Zealand's success in eliminating the virus might seem like cause for celebration, Adan is still urging vigilance. We are not out of the woods, she said at a press conference on Tuesday. Level 3 is a recovery room of sorts to assess if the incredible work that New Zealanders have done has worked. When it comes to what worked, New Zealand had some advantages in tackling the virus. It had the benefit of time. New Zealand confirmed its first case of coronavirus on February 28, well over a month after the United States confirmed its first case. It's a relatively remote nation, uh, island nation and relatively few flights transit through New Zealand. It's also centrally governed meaning it doesn't have states like the US or its neighbor, Australia. But the real key to New Zealand's success appears to be an approach that could be applied anywhere. Moving swiftly, testing widely, and relying heavily on good science. From Lagos, this is Tina Timothy, News Express Nigeria Television.